Well, you finally get your chance to work with me. Just don't screw anything up and we'll get along fine. Yes, ma'am. And let me just say that it's an honor and a privilege. A pleasure and an absolute non-expectation. Like slinging hash in a soup kitchen with Her Majesty. Anyway, to work with you on a book of this magnitude is unbelievable. Well, I'll agree with you about a book of this magnitude but this is still the underbelly of Lesvik. And I was born in a county hospital, feet first like any other breech baby born of a mother with no prenatal care. Ready? Today's book is Verge, by Z. Egloff. Kudos to by Water Books, who is consistently publishing some of the best lesbian fiction in the last few years. Claire McMinn is a 20-something, ex-alcoholic, philandering lesbian who has one passion, filmmaking. But her film professor won't let her use any equipment for this current semester. Course that happens, when you dress as a pirate, sleep with the professor's wife, and make a drunken mistake of filming it. Anyway, Claire finds out that she can borrow a camera from Sister Hillary, the nun in charge of the local community center. In return, she will film a documentary about the center and work as a volunteer. In between Alcoholics Anonymous meetings, wild nights with her buddy at Shelley, and occasional brushes with her alcoholic mother, Claire manages to become obsessed with Sister Hillary, whose life is a total enigma to Claire. The question isn't whether Claire loves Hillary, it's what Hillary will do. See, for me. The big question throughout the book was, what is Claire going to screw up next? The amazing thing about this book is that Claire was so likable. An underdog you really care about despite her making so many horrible choices. Yes, she was funny, sad, crazy, loving, all at the same time. This is certainly not a typical H.E.A. lesbic romance. No, it deals with more serious themes such as emotionally coming of age and reckoning with your own demons with no magic cure all provided by a soulmate. The writing is wonderful, and I love Claire, maybe because she was emotionally frail, and yet so resilient. The minor characters are well drawn too, especially Shelley, Claire's best friend. What do you think? Four and a half stars. Yes, with another half star for the storytelling game that they played throughout the story. It was just an excellent book. Who would you cast as the nun? A woman religious? In a movie? Well. I kept having flashbacks of Mary Tyler Moore and Elvis in Change of Habit. And I kept thinking about Haley Mills and the Trouble with Angels. Here we are then. Two lonely lesbians, tragic figures, who have become sisters across the vast ocean, having links to colonies of the mother country, and both liking B-movies about nuns. Yes, well, you are quite the dramatic little thing, aren't you?